Please, I've not eaten today. But please, can you help me with something to eat, please? I've not eaten. And I'm very hungry. I should help you with something to eat. 100 naira, 50 naira, anything. Even if it's biscuit. I should help you with something to eat. They have told you you will die of starvation in this village. You will die of starvation, witch. Witch, oh, parents killer. You want to kill me how you kill your parents? <laughs> Look at that. Frustration will kill you. <laughs> Look at you, Chidelo. You will beg, you will die. Look at you, parents killer. Nonsense. You've not seen anything. You will die of starvation. Hey, something by. <laughs> hey. We said, man, you got to go down low for our sake. Huh? Huh? Hmm. Brother, brother, be uh, please. Uh, I'm very hungry. Please, can you help me with something? Do I look like a helper? Don't try, don't try it again in your life. My guy, more they go. Wish. You don't kill, you don't kill your parents. Won't come and follow me. Talk. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Nah. I want to buy indomie, two small indomie, two oh. two eggs, okay. and one bread, the big one, please. Okay, okay. Thank you. Hold on, let me bring it. Okay. Yeah, two eggs. How much is it? Everything here is just one thousand five hundred. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Hey, no wonder. So it okay. is you. Eh? Take your money. Madam, take your money. Now. I beg, I beg, I beg, give me. Take your money. Take give your me. Oh, yeah. Chidi Out of my shop. Chidi you which you're looking for who to implicate in this village, Abby. Oh, yeah. Leave my shop. Chidi ma. Chidi ma. Chidi Hold your money. Oh, yeah. Out. Chidi ma. Nobody is. Nobody is. Out of my shop Nobody now. Nobody will know I came here. Oh, my God. It's okay. It's okay. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Oh, yeah. Leave my shop. I will shout. Oh, oh my God. Piano. Leave my shop. Trouble. What were you shouting? What's the problem? Is it not that stupid cousin of yours? Imagine she come, came here and covered her face. Ah, you mean? Came to buy something from me. Now God save me. Did you sell anything? No. Ha. No. She quad you. So she came here. Ha. Yeah. She really okay. got me pissed now. I was so angry. It's I okay. don't feel like tearing her apart. No, 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 don't tear her, don't tear her, don't tear her. It's okay, it's okay. Just give me, just give me beer. Give me beer or a hero, anything, anyone. Hold on, let me give you.
Chinelo. Who is that? It's me, oh. It's me, Sam. How are you? Samuel, what is it? What do you want? Um, I brought you this. I brought you food. Did you come here to finish your mockery? Uh, no, I did not. No, did you come here to make a mockery of me? No, I did not come to mock you. I only, I only brought food for you, eh? so that you can eat. Look at it now. Samuel, thank you very much. Please take your food and get out of my father's compound. Chinele, why are you doing this now? Eh? Why are you finding it difficult to see that in this entire Umoji, I'm the only one who cares for you. Every other person wants you dead. Please, take it. And why are you finding it difficult to understand that in this entire Umoji, you are the one I hate the most? Don't say that. No. Yes. Don't say that. As a matter of fact, please get out before you and your father will find another name to tag me. Get out. Uh, it's a very fine soup. You like it? They are plenty Somewhere, of big meat the rum. I am tired. Please. Okay. This okay. is the this is the list of what I want now. Get out. Okay. No problem. No problem. I, I know you're doing shakara. Eh? Hunger will catch you later. But uh, let me keep it here. When you're done with your shakara, you can eat it. Eh? When you're hungry, you can eat it. Hmm? See you later. Somewhere. Okay. It's very fancy. Very fancy. Do you like it? Very fancy. Very nice. I know these are the kind of soup you like. It's fine, fine, big, big, big. Very fine. Very fine. Very fine. Get out. Get out! Do you want me to push you? Because I cannot push you. Your shirt. Sam, Sam, what, what is you? Stand there, my friend. Oh, I'm fine. Good afternoon, sir. What is good in the afternoon? Sam, Sam, what, what is you? Stand there, my friend. Papa, it is nothing. I'm fine. I'm okay. I don't understand. Which one is nobody this, did, did, did anything to me? Eh? You that I know will not be coming back to this house without wearing your, your, your shirt. What's the name of this? Boy, Sam. Wait, wait for us. Wait. Keep your head now. What Keep is it now? If Papa, it's soup, oh. Soup! Sam, what for soup on you now? Who for soup on you? Eh? Sammy, who pour soup on you? Nobody pour soup on me now. Hey! Nobody. See, I know it must be that witch that did this to you. Don't even lie, you. Don't even lie because I overheard her answer like a mad dog that she is. <laughs> you people should not go there, oh. Don't go there, I beg you in the name of God. Don't go there. You know that guy is very aggressive this period. Don't go, don't, don't carry your two legs to go to that place. I beg. I beg. Hmm. Papa, the reason this girl is still doing anyhow is because nobody has given her a serious beating. Beating? Why are you going to like this? I'm telling you, you should not go there. You're talking about beating. You want to carry your two legs to go to Chinelo's place. You people should not go there. I beg you in the name of God. You know that girl? That girl is, is ostracized. And beating is making her to go mad. She's behaving like a dog. She can even bite you now. She's not barking like a dog. Your brother is right. Hmm? I don't want you to associate with uh, 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 Chinelo because people might not understand. Everybody knows she's also. Please leave her alone. Eh? Don't go there. Papa, don't, don't even tell me that. I keep saying this. You people are the reason she's still constituting new as, as well. Give it to me, eh, Papa. 
I will give her the beating of her miserable life. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't worry about that. Uh, but Sammy, Papa. what did you go there to do that made her fall soup on you? Papa did not go there. I was just passing on the road oh. and I heard the sound of a baby crying. And I walked into the compound. It was the chinelo that I saw there. She was crying and I asked her, what happened to you? She now got angry. She slapped me and put her and carried soup and put on me. Oh! Yes, this your brother is a very stupid... In fact, he doesn't know how to lie. That is, that, that is the stupid thing about him. My friend, go and think of a better lie to tell. If you want to lie, hey, shut up! You went there, I heard her, that, 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 and she put soup on you. What do you go there to do? Papa, I told you now. I had a baby cry. Run, 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 Sit down, my friend, and continue what I do. Do this in. Uh, uh, my just, just, my friend, leave that. Just, just look at him. Leave that lady, Chineye, and leave your brother alone. This one, you don't even know where he's coming from. The worst part is he doesn't know how to lie. He will just quack, 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 quack. Rubbish. Please do, do what I do. Honestly, Miss um, Helen, I am not impressed with your latest impute this last few months. You guys have diverted from the initial plans of the foundation. GOF is a humanitarian foundation. It was formed for humanitarian benefits only. The goods are imported and not for the general public. They are also not for you guys to enrich yourselves with. Besides, I pay you all more than some federal sectors. But, my prince, we've always stick to the company policies and, and rules. Don't try to lie to me, Miss Helen. Don't try that. Do you think I do not know that you guys have been selling the goods I imported more than the stipulated price I fixed it? You think I don't know that? GOF should be light to the less privileged. It should bring hope to the less privileged. Yes, sir. I do not want to go into details, but this should not repeat itself again. Because I will not hesitate to wipe you all off this company. Yes, sir. Meanwhile, I would like for you and Mr. Tony to search for all the less privileged homes around. I want us to pay them a visit. Yes, sir. I'll do just that. I'll get back to you. All right, that'll be all for now. I need to visit the hospitals myself. You all can take a day off. I'll do the hospital visit today. Okay? Good. It's all right. Papa, why? Why did you leave me alone? Why did you leave me all alone in this wicked world? Left me with nothing. Left me all alone to suffer. What do I turn to? What do I run to? When I am hungry, I have no one to run to. When I am going through tribulations, I have no one to run to. Why didn't you take me with me? Why didn't you take me with you? You just left me all alone. 
left me all alone to suffer. This is not fair. It's not fair. Come on. Mama, especially you, Mama, especially you. Our mother's not supposed to take care of, of their children. This is too much. It's too much. I can't do it again. I can't continue. No, I can't continue. My bones are weak. I have no strength left in me. <laughs> Mama, I've not eaten since morning. Yesterday, I only... I only drank Gary. And it was the Gary Mama Jima gave me. The little she had. For she and her children. You don't expect me to go back to Mama Jima and beg her for... Another Gary, that would be wickedness on my own path. Let me just sleep. Maybe I'll just die from there. At least I'll be with my parents. At least I'll be with them. What do you want? I'm hungry. I've not eaten. What do you want? I've not eaten. Please. please go, 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 go. You want to put me into trouble? Go! Mama, that be hey gone. Please. Leave my shop! I've not eaten since yesterday. Oh, I am with you today. Chinelo, go. Don't be put be me into trouble. Please. Go. I mind my business. Go, 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 go. I've not. They're saying. Come, come on. Le leave my shop. Gala. Oh, look at this. Uh -uh. You want to put me into trouble? I reject bad luck. Oh. Ha. China, sir. Good morning. Chine, again. What is it? Can you help me with small indomie? Please, indomia? please, please, go, 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 go. You want to put me in trouble with this one, I beg, please, please. I'm shocked. Please, 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 why is he put me in trouble? No, please leave my shop. Please, please. Okay, you can no, go no. another place. Please. Thank you. Ah. Ah. Come on, you. Tell me that you come and put me in trouble. Hey, no. I 
I beg you in the name of God. In any way I have wronged you, please forgive me. Please forgive me. I, I am sorry. I'm sorry for anything I did. But please, can you help me with food and water? I have not, I have not eaten in days now. You want food and water? Yes. Okay. You know I have a boho here. I have a big freezer. So I have enough water in this house. Now, I have enough food in this house to feed an entire community. But, I will not give you any of it until you tell me the truth. Yes. Tell me the truth. Tell me why you had to kill your parents. People who spent their entire lives when you were in school. I did not kill my parents. I, I did not. I can never do a thing like that. It is unheard of. How can I, how can I kill the people I love the most? I did not. Okay. I did not. You don't want to tell me the truth. Uncle, believe me, I am not <laughs> lying. <laughs> okay. Because you don't want to tell me the truth. You don't want to tell me why you kill the people who sacrificed all their life to give you good education to make you a better person in life. You don't want to tell me why you had to kill them, terminate their lives. Your parents, my own brother, and his wife, your mother. Ah. I'm quite, I did not now get up and get out of my compound. Until you are ready to tell me the truth, I will not give you anything. Get out! Uncle Bikosian, I did not. Please also, help me. I'm so, very hungry. You don't understand what I'm saying, or you are not hearing with. Do you have auricular problems? Uncle, please help get me. Out. Help. Get out! Get out of my compound! Get out! Get out! Go, 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 go! Get out! What's that? What is it? Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Come on! Come on! Get out! Does this witch want to die in my compound? Hey! No, that is not possible. Is that? Come! How can she die in my compound? No, it's not possible. Come! Get up, get up, get up. Well, get up, come and take the water. Get up! Come and take the food! I told you I will come back. There is no how I will leave you alone. Okay? Sorry. I'm always here for you. Nothing will happen to you. Thank you. You're welcome. I brought food for you. You're hungry, right? So you eat. Sit. So you eat. <clears throat>
Chinelo, Chinelo, please wake up, Chinelo, Chinelo, oh God, God, please do not let me to drop on Chinelo, please, God, please, I beg of you, please, Chinelo, Chinelo, please, God, please, I beg of you, please, God, Chinelo, please open your eyes, Chinelo, Chinelo, God, God, please, I need you now, please, I need you now, I need you now, please, Please don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Please, I beg of you, don't do this to me. She do not leave me alone. Oh God. Driver, what are you waiting for? Please drive past now. Drive past, please. Drive past, please now. Drive. She, she, she not to happen to you, okay? She not to happen to you, not to happen to you. Driver, please be fast, be fast. I beg you in the name of God, be fast. Dr. Oti. <laughs> My <laughs> prince, <laughs> happy to have you here. Thank you very much. It's been a long time. Oh yes, I've been um, very busy with the royal affairs, you know, helping my father out with some things. So, you know how it is. So what do we owe this visit? All right, Dr. Oti, you know me very well. I'm a humanitarian. I've been going around um, the kingdom. I've visited some motherless babies' home, some hospitals, and now I'm here. So I want you to give me a list of the patients you have here. Um, I want to offset bills. I want to take care of people who cannot pay their bills and also the ones who are here to um, take care of themselves. All right. So give me a list of that so that um, we can know how to um, take care of them from there. I am. I am so happy to hear this. I am. I am. I am delighted. I am. <laughs> I am. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. But may God bless you. Amen. Chai. 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 My prince, my prince. Yes. Let me, uh, let me find uh, a comprehensive list, and then I definitely I will take you around so that you see some of the patients. Of course, I would like to go there at least get to meet with them, call, have a little conversation with them if I can, feel their pain. Once again, thank you. You're welcome, <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Oti. My prince, <laughs> Doctor Oti. <Hey. laughs> my prince. Young lady, put yourself together. Just wait here. I'll possibly go to the reception. You cannot go in with me. Your friend will be fine. Dr. Ships, she's my friend. I have to. I didn't say she's not your friend. The best thing you can do for your friend right now is to go to the reception and pray for her. Why will attend to her? Let us do the medical work and go to the reception and pray for her. Are we done? All right. Doctor, please. Please. You just have to do everything to save her life. Please don't allow her to die. Please. If I'm not doing anything, I won't be discussing with you. I won't be going in there to attend to her. Please. Young lady, Hi, doctor. are you still here? Yes, doctor. How is she? She's fine. She's okay. Thank you, Jesus. She's okay, but she needs rest. Can I see her now, please? No, no, no. You're not going to see her. You can't. She needs enough rest. I know, doctor. Just allow me to see her. Would you want her to be healed or would you want to see her? Which one do you want? I want her healed. What you can do right now is to follow me to my office, not to see her. There are a few things I need to tell you. Can we? All right. Doctor, what is wrong with her? Is she going to leave? I 
don't know what, where to start from. I don't know where to start from. But honestly, she's going to leave. Her condition is so critical. What she needs now is immediate medical attention. I don't understand. You just assured me that she's not going to die. What is the other thing that you're saying that needs medical? Medical attention, I mean urgent attention. I don't, I don't get it. What is wrong with her? There is what we call blood cluster. It is as a result of internal bleeding. It is something very difficult, something we are trying to manage. And this thing has damaged what we call the bladder. That is what we call bladder damage. We are finding it very difficult to operate on her because she has shortage of blood. <laughs> now, I want you to put yourself together. Because right now, she needs blood transfusion. And you need to make a deposit of 125,000. The money is not a problem. The money is not a problem. I will pay. Just make sure, make sure she doesn't die, please. <laughs> All you need to do is to go to the cashier and make some deposit. Then you can commence treatment immediately. Okay. Our situation is not something we can waste time. It's not something we can begin to play around with. It's something that is very critical. We need to start medical attention right now. We need to start treatment. Dr. Oti. My prince. What's wrong with the patient in Ward 5? My, my prince, uh, she, she has a damaged bladder oh. that requires immediate operation. The only problem we're having right now is that she is running shortage of blood. So we, we need to operate her immediately, but that shortage is making it difficult for us to operate on her. Now why not do a blood transfusion? My prince, we don't have, we don't have a match in our blood bank. They contacted our blood banks for a match. I'll pay for it. It's a case of emergency, so they have to deliver it immediately. My prince, it's not as easy as we think, but I will, I will do my best to see uh, we'll fix it. I'll, I'll make some contacts. Dr. O.T., you need to do this as soon as possible. The woman I saw in there is in severe pain. I understand. I, I, I've been the one administering her, so I know exactly what is going on. So I'll do my best. Please, do your best. Thank you, my prince. <sighs> hey, my prince, one more thing. I, I was trying to... Um, you need to calm down, madam. Just, just calm down. I understand, I understand what you're passing through, just calm down. But you also need to understand that the donor you brought, we can't use the blood. We can't. Why? What do you mean, doctor? She never shares the same blood group with her cannon. That's why I brought him. I know. We, we, we screened it, we, we, we saw it, but there's a problem. Jesus. He has, hold on, let me explain to you so that you won't think we're joking here. I know it's a very critical point. Just calm down. He has hepatitis B, which is very difficult for us to use his blood. But don't worry, we are making contact. We are calling. If I've even called the nearest hospital. They say they do not have it. I'm still making contact to make sure that we get a very perfect match. Yes, you have to say that. You have to do something. You have to say Chinelo's life. Don't let her die. She's like a sister to me. She has suffered so much. For her to die without a moment of happiness, please. Yeah. She's too good. She's the only survivor child. I am doing my best. You have to do more. You have to do more. I am still going to make some calls before you right now. Just calm down. Don't put yourself in this in this kind of condition. So I won't have two people having the same issues. Just calm down. I'm still going to make some calls before you so that you understand what I'm saying. Maybe call uh, another hospital of uh, a friend of mine. Just hold on. Please, all right. Come in, come in. Ah, oh, Jose, my prince. The woman in five was still crying. Why has she not been attended? I am, I am so sorry. 
I, I don't know how to start. I don't know how to start. Honestly, I've, I've met calls. The nearest hospital that I believe should have had that particular blood group do not have it. You know, it's very, very rare for you to see B negative in this particular place. But not to worry, I've also called another hospital, just that uh, it's a little bit far. It will take like two, three, four hours for us to get there. Dr. Oti, did you, did you say B negative? Yes, I said B negative. It's, it's a very rare, rare type to get. Well, I'm B negative, right? So take my blood right now and save that woman's life. Her tears is breaking my heart. Please. Are you, are you, are you, are you? Dr. Oti, I know exactly what I'm saying. I need you to take my blood. I am B negative. Save her life. Now. My prince, I, 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 need, I need some document for me to carry out whatever thing you want to do in this hospital. Dr. Oti, I'm ready to do whatever it takes. I need you to take my blood. I need her saved. All right, let's, let's go to the lab so that we can run some tests and ascertain. All right, all right, let's go. Her tears is breaking my heart. All right. I'll call Dr. Desmond to. What baffles me is how that witch was able to escape from this kingdom without being noticed. She has not escaped. She's still within this her community. Everyone in this her land is aware that she's not permitted to leave. And if anyone sees her, the person's supposed to report to us. So she's within. Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. But you see, Matthew. Mm -hmm. I thought her father's compound is just next to your own compound. Couldn't you have been able to know what is going on? Hey, you don't know that witch. She is a very cunning witch. Listen, she came to me begging for water. I refused to give it to her. The next thing I saw, she fell to the ground and fainted. She lost consciousness. I dragged her back to Anaya's house. And that was the last I saw of her. <laughs> like a fox. She deceived you. And then you helped her escape. You should have dug the grave for her. Bury her immediately. Okay. Yes. Huh? Now she's alive. Hmm. Hmm. Well. I believe we can mobilize the youth to go and search for her. She's still within this community. Unless she now has the power to teleport herself out of this land. But wait, how do we mobilize the, the, the youth? Because, you know, how do we go about that? Call the youth leader. Uh, where do you see him? You know, that call one is... Phone. You don't have call him on phone. Yes. He does not pick his calls, especially when he's doing the other thing that he used to do. Why not try to know? What are you talking you about? I'm telling you that... God, God, please, I want you to send my sister Chinelo. God, she will not die. I connect Chinelo into your evil hands, please. Please protect her, save her life. You are the father to the fatherless, the mother to the motherless. She did not want to die in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are the... <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you know, the concept of miracles is our everyday lifestyle. And I believe a miracle just happened to your sister in there. She will not die. <laughs> Thank you so much, my priest. You said she's a good person. Yes, she is. I need you to tell her to use my blue blood very well. To help as many people as she can. Um, <laughs> that's my card. I have settled every medical bill in there. But in case anything else comes up, don't hesitate to call me. My prince, my prince, my God will bless you. Amen. Truly, young angels sent from God to save her life. Amen. My God will keep you. 
Your enemies will never rejoice over you. Amen. You will live, you will not die, my friends. Amen. This you have done for Chin alone. You will never like a life. Amen. You will be the king, you will be above, not below. Amen. You will lend the nation not to borrow. Amen. You will be the head and not the tail, my friends. My friends, thank you so much. Thank you for helping that lady at the hospital. She was in so much pain. Her pain was breaking my heart so much. I had to do what my heart directed me to do. Besides, what's the need of having all the money and material things without helping those who are in their need? You know, my prince, many would have given only money. But you didn't just give only money, my prince. You gave her life. God is the giver of life. I am just the element he used. Thank you so much, my prince, for making yourself available to be used. It's all right. Um, I need to, I need to run now. I have errands to take care of. No problem, my prince. Thank you so much. Sam? Father. Blissful night to you, Father. Thank you. Sam. The night is long. And it is a prayer of uh, every good father to save the son. Live longer than the night. Son, may you live longer than the Obolo season. He say, your heart is heavy. But not with sorrow. But with the thought of a beautiful maiden. Tell me, who is this maiden that has taken your heart to the stand of taking the prince of Umocho out of the comfort of his bed? Father, why are you so desperate for me to take a bride? Love is beautiful. Especially when it's done with pure heart. And I expected to see a medium with pure heart just as you are. Well, Father, I was just thinking about the day's activities. But not to worry. I promise you very soon, I will present to you a woman that you will be proud of. Good. I love that. Do that. 
and I promise you my blessings. No matter who, the tribe she comes from. Hmm? Yes, Father. Well, uh, I will retire to my chambers and advise you to do the same. Because the night is becoming lonely. And the spirit world is taking over the land. I'll do that, Father. Please do. Good night, son. Night, It's a very fine house. Oh yes, it is a very, very fine place. No defacement, nothing. It is good. And that is why I'm going to sell it. Yes, I will sell it because, I mean, I, I, the, 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 there's no one remaining in Anayo's house. And you, Sam, my own son, hey, you have become so irresponsible and unstable. So, what am I keeping it for? I will sell it. Wait, wait, Papa. Hmm? I forgive you for calling me unstable. Uh -huh. But you see this thing you are saying now, Papa? I don't even want to ask you why you want to sell this house in the first place. But you see this thing you are just saying now. Papa, if you try it, if you dare come close to this house to say that you want to sell this house, Papa, me and you, we are going to have a very big problem. Samuel! Papa! Samuel! Papa! Are you by any means warning me? No! Are you using the mouth with which you eat yam and cocoa yam? Only jelly jelly You are using it to warn me. <laughs> Whether I am warning you or not, Papa, I just disseminated the information to you now. Because if you dare come close, this, uh, uh, close to this house to sell it, Papa, me and you, we are going to have a serious problem. I'm telling you now, we are going to have a serious problem. If you come close to this house, if you mess up, he mess you up now. Maggie, do twerking now. Mama, 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 Piago is an idiot. Look at him. I know. By the way, if I leave this house for you, what will you do with it? Uh -huh. That is a very beautiful question you have asked me now. Since I have known you as my father, this is the best question you have asked me. Now, let me answer you now. You see this house? Hmm? The plans I have for this house, they are of good and not of evil. You understand me? Now, when I, I'm, go, I'm, I'm getting married very soon. When I get married, I will bring that my wife into this house. I'm not taking her into that your cubicle you call the house. You understand me? I will bring her here and we will do all the equal like what we need to do. You understand me? Don't come close to this house, Papa. I am warning you. I am warning you now. Don't come close to this house, oh, because I'm going to go now. Look at it. Now you have growing, wings, eh? No, this that one. Yo. Sam. Mm -hmm. Somewhere. Yes. Wait, oh. Wait, oh. So, you mean you want to pack into this cost house? Hey. Eh? Goody. This house is not cost. Oh. This house is not cost. I've been telling you, Papa, that this house is not cost. It is not cost. Is it because the people stay in this house before they, they, they had an unfortunate end? Mm. And you, my only brother, want to pack into this house. What if something happened to you? Hey, Goody, nothing is going to happen to me. Stop instilling fear inside of me. Nothing is going to happen to me. Hey. I've already left that house for you and Papa to stay. What's this one? But Papa said he should not come, he should not come here no, no, now. No, 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 don't, don't even Papa me. Don't Papa me. Don't Papa me. Don't even try to convince me. Don't try it at all. This is my house. I'm cleaning my house. Allow me to stay in my house. See, Sam. Sam, Samuel. I know I'm saying this, so. By the time Chinelo will come with, with, with her colleague, eh? To attack you in the night. You, you understand what I'm saying? Nothing is going to happen to me. Do you understand me? Samuel, let's go. Let's go back to the house. Leave my house. I'm eh? cleaning my house. Let's, let's go. Shift ah! now. Shift now. Take it easy now. Leave my house. Oh, I'm sweeping my house. 
Leave my house now. Yeah. Sam, Sam, leave this thing. Let's go. Let's go back to the house. Leave my house. Leave. Go. I'm a rachine. Hey. Oh, Maruba, no, no, ma. Chin. This is the hero that saved you. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. So, how are you feeling now? I feel much better. That's All better. thanks to you. <laughs> All thanks to God. Mm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I also want to say I am deeply sorry for what I said to you the other day. You actually said nothing wrong. I mean, anyone in your condition would have done worse. Huh? Yes. I would have done worse too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy you're strong. You know, looking at you then, I felt my whole life was empty. But now, girl, <laughs> I'm so happy. Back to what we were saying. Um, there is no justification for what I said to you. I shouldn't have said that to anyone. Nobody deserves that. And for that, I am truly sorry. For like I always say, you can never tell from whom or where your miracle will come from. And now look at it. It's all right. Um, you didn't tell me your name. Oh, my name is Chinelo Ndigwe. Chinelo Ndigwe. It gladdens my heart that you're better now. And I'm happy I could be of help. I need you to remember this day and never forget to help people who are in need. I will never forget. I've learned a great lesson from everything that happened. All right, I need to go see Dr. Oti in his office, clear some bills and then come back to take you to, to wherever you're going to. Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. You're going to take us home? I will. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very you. much. You're welcome. God, God bless, bless you. you, sir. You're welcome. God bless you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, He's cute. Really cute. Ginger, stop. Of everything in the world to see, this is what you're seeing. Oh, you know he's cute now. Uh, why are you pretending? Have you part? Why is she running? Just forget about her. Meanwhile, you're welcome to my father's house. Should I say my late father's house? Oh yes, your friend told me you're the only survivor of your parent. Such a tragic story. I'm so sorry. I was actually at the verge of joining them before you came and pulled me out. I. You're not going to die. You need to stay alive to continue the family legacy. All right? My prince. Thank you, my prince. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Come You're welcome. Bless you. You're, You're welcome. such a good man. Our people are lucky to have a prince like you. Yes, we are. Are you from Omochi? Yes, my prince. Oh, wow. We're ready to be precise. That's good to know. <laughs> you know, it's actually nice. I have a great friend like her. Yes, it is. Ah. <laughs> All right, let me help you in time. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Ah, I see. Come, Sammy. I don't understand what this was. I cannot know, Gabriel. I want to reach my friend. I don't know what is so. What? Hey. Uh, this. You don't have data now. Your data is. Data. I subscribed one year, a few days ago. This thing used to stop me data. Hey. Nice. Nice. 
Okun a really go. Okun. Okun. What is it? Why are you running like someone that's, that, that, that's seen a ghost? Papa, I have indeed seen a ghost. I've seen a ghost too. Eh? See, I saw uh, 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 Chinelo and her friend. They are back. And they came back with one handsome man that seemed royalty. No, it's not possible. It's not possible. Listen, that girl can never set her feet anywhere in this kingdom. Not to talk about our own kindred. It's not possible. I will tear her. I will struggle her. I will, I will eat her raw. Egodi, are you sure about this thing you are saying? You know sometimes I don't trust the way you talk. Oh, I'm telling you the truth. Now what do you mean by are you sure? I'm telling you what I saw. Eh? Okay, if you are doubting me, let's go so you see it with your eyes. It's not but I don't believe you. Forget about that. Forget about that. It's not possible. Uh, I saw them. Uh, come, let me go and show you. No, really, can you imagine? They've already moved, moved their things into my father's house. I am going to throw everything out of this house. What I am doing? taking it all out. What are you still waiting for? Throw everything out. It's your father's house. Throw them out. I'm Jane. I, I think you should hold on on that. Leave everything as they are until the person who kept them there comes back for it. But that is not nice now. It's looking like they, they've always wanted everybody in this house to, 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 to die. Exactly. Like they wanted us all dead so they can take over. Let it be as I've said. There's a reason I said that. Okay? Uncle Goodafton. What is good about that? Tell me what is good Wait. What are you doing here? So... What are you doing here? You finally came back to this house, eh? I know you're the owner of those things inside my father's house. Please. I don't want trouble. Just quietly go in there and pick it all up and get out. Please go and carry everything you left inside that house out of here, else I would th throw it out. Ha! You will not do any nonsense. You will not throw anything away. This is my house. I'm here to stay. Look, I only came to confirm that you are actually the one she saw. But I'll come for you. I will! I'll... And who are those people? They're not um, happy to see her. My prince. That is our late father's elder brother and his children. They hate us so much with passion. My prince, I wish I had the power of the gods. I would have turned them into stones. But what really happened? Why the obvious hostility? believe me right but what i don't understand is what is beating this drum for this girl eh where does she get her powers from something is not right something is just not right there wait where is that young man and uh, who is he coming for Ginello or her friend papa i think that man came for her friend because there is no way Ginello, that witch can attract such a man it's not possible now. This is not right at all. Oh. oh, Papa. Papa, what are we going to do now? now? Eh? What are we going to do? I can't lose that house too. So, and I can't even lose my things too. I can't go there to get my things. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Papa, say something now. Papa. I mean, this is not fair, eh? Tomorrow morning, we are returning those things to them. No one can take your house. No one can take your place. This is your father's house. I know those things belong 
belong to Sam. Tomorrow I'll take them back myself. I'll take it back. Are you sure? Sorry, sorry. It's 9 p.m. already. The, yeah, it must be the prince. You know you promised to call it tonight. Take it. Hello? <laughs> right on time. <laughs> you know, I was scared you might have gone to bed. No, I was I was just taking my drugs. Though I was thinking you were not going to call again. I thought maybe the grills of royalty had had made you forget. I'm an honorable man. I keep to my words. Hmm? Wow, you are not just kind at heart, you are also a sweet tongue. I mean, you have your way with words. Well, I'm just saying the truth. Honestly, I'm happy I got to hear your voice before going to bed. If not, I would have had a nightmare. <laughs> you're not serious. Gosh, you're such a funny person. <laughs> of course I am. So, how was your day today? I hope your uncle didn't come after you after I left. No, my day was good. My day was good. He didn't come after you left, though I am expecting him anytime soon. Good, that's good. So, um, can we go out for dinner this weekend? I want us to talk about life in general. You want to take me out for dinner? Um, oh, okay, okay, tomorrow evening I will do you the honors. <laughs> now I can finally go to bed. Good night. <laughs> Good night, my prince. Someone is in love! <laughs> my chief! I'm so happy you're happy. <laughs> do you not do who oh, is she and is she from this kingdom? Well, no, she is not. You know I hate it when you cry in my private life, eh? Sorry. See this bag. Biogini, why are you my father's house shouting like a mad dog? Yara, you gonna see me? Eh? Are you mad? When you are done ranting like a foolish girl that you are, because I know you, you've been mad before. Ara Pupugogi before. Carry these rags. Tell your brother when he comes back that I don't want to see anything that looks like this in my father's house again. The thunder that will strike you, eh? Can I press up? If on all the cara, Ara could go nasty. He must have got a radar one time. Thunder fire, in fact. May the ghost turn you to imbecile for calling my brother's clothes rag. Are, are you okay? Okay, me chill when you're done raving mad like a dog. Pack this nonsense, hey. these rags, and give it to your brother. And tell him I don't want to see him in my father's compound again. And please, pass this message to your father and your brother. Tell them that that house belongs to my father. That is my inheritance, and I plan on keeping it. In mm. your, your, your inheritance, you you Inher yes. inheritance in the more. Turn that fire you dear. Can you, can you imagine this nonsense? If you have to go and call your late mother, eh? Your late father, Prax. Can you, 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 can you,
Anyway, I don't blame you, sir. I, I don't blame you. I blame my brother for carrying carry his back to, to, to your stupid house. Ewe Wukongo, idiot. Eh? Rubbish. Let me see you here again. Ewe Wukongo. Idiot. Baby, thank you. But the rate at which you're beginning to shop for me, it's becoming too much. I think you should slow down. Well, I don't know how this happened, but I've fallen deeply in love with you. And I'm sure you have also for me. Listen, if this must happen, then you have to change your wardrobe. At least look presentable when I introduce you to His Majesty, my father. I know, but it's becoming too much. I mean, all this clothes. It's too much. Your beautiful soul. And you this. Alright? Let's go. Thank you. You said uh, there is something you want to discuss with me. Can I hear it? <sighs> Papa, it's about Chinelo. Chinelo? What about Chinelo? Why is she still free? Doing whatever she likes. When she is supposed to be suffering for the pain she caused her parents and the land of Umoji. Besides, I thought she was ostracized. So why is she still having visitors? And who is that girl that has been staying with her all this while? Ah, you see, my daughter. Yes, Chinelo was ostracized. In fact, she remains ostracized today. But she managed to make friends who are actually not from Umoji. I don't know who they are. I've not seen them before. I don't even know where they're coming from. But that goes to show one thing. She is a very strong witch. Yes. Papa, we must do something to stop her. <laughs> what can we do? Yes. We must do something to stop Chinelo. She's waxing strong by the day. And I hate to see that after killing her parents, she is still roaming around Bumoji. Eh? Without even a slap on, his, on her wrist. We need to do something. We need to do something. Uh -uh. Son, father, you said there is something you want to tell us. Go ahead and say it. Oh yes, um, mom, dad. You two have always wanted me to present a maiden who will serve as my bride. Yes. Because, you know, growing up, we have never seen you with any woman outside your sister here. Well, I've got good news. I have found the woman I want to make my bride. Really? 
Yes, really. Although she's not from this kingdom, but she's the one I'm in love with. The one who sends butterflies to my stomach. Wow. <laughs> That's good news. Bring her in. Let her pass through the sanctity in a session. If she passes, then give her the royal ring. Oh, I'll do that, Father. <laughs> Remember, mm. I told you that I won't mind the tribe she comes from. As long as you two love each other, she's free to be your bride. Thank you. Once she passes the sanctity initiation. <laughs> Thank you very much, Father. I'm so happy. You're going to tell your brother? Of course I will. Call I. Him. They continue to align themselves with her. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, the river does not swallow anyone. It does not see his or her legs at its banks. But you understand? Not done. I'm coming. I'm not done yet. Yeah? I want you to listen carefully before you respond to what I'm saying. You see, if these people continue to go there, they put themselves in danger. My hands are not there. I am not the one to go and stop them. Are you saying we should let them be, even as they continue to defy our land by associating with her? I wonder. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you going to fight for the gods? Listen, in our country, Nigeria, there is freedom of speech, freedom of association, freedom of movement. You just sit back and let the gods fight for us. That is all I want us to do. You know, so the, see, you cannot rise to fight for the gods now. Yeah, the government will come for you. So let us let them be, please. I can't believe you are the one saying this. I can't believe it at all. But like as the saying goes, he who wears the shoe knows where he pinches him. For that, I will just allow you. Exactly, mm -hmm. Ichiya Mobi. Mm -hmm. But if you ask me, mm. I would suggest we mobilize the youths to stop them from coming here to visit that woman. I don't have a hand in that too. <laughs> hey. I don't. Because if this leads to trouble, and the tr one trouble leads to another trouble, and continuously like that, I will not come out to answer for anybody. <laughs> if you want yeah. to mobilize the youths, of course, you are a, a, a member of the cabinet. Oh no. I called you both to let you know that my son, Prince Kennedy, will be bringing a woman that pleases his heart to the throne. And she will pass through the test of sanctity and purification. Um, son, before that day, your bride will come a day before a gay. And you must try to avoid meeting her. Because it's a taboo for the groom to meet the bride before she is sanctified by Nuku, the custodian of fertility. You know she's coming for the sanctification and the purification. Very important. I, I still don't get it. You want me to get married? Mm -hmm. And yet I'm not supposed to see my bride until the initiation is completed. How is that even possible? It, might be, it may not be possible to you or even make sense to you, but that is the tradition. I did it with your father here, and our love story is the best in the entire kingdom. Her son. Oh, it's not my son. I'm, I'm, I'm I might even late for the meeting. <laughs> Mother. My God, you didn't tell me you were coming. How are you? Look at you. Bro. Look at you, guy. Look at my son. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why wouldn't you? Maswell, you're welcome. Thank you. 
Ese cafo. Ga, ga, ga. Ay, <risa> <laughs> oh, seriously, bro, I'm so happy you came back. Huh? <laughs> you know, it's a special day. Yeah. You don't expect me to miss a day like this. <laughs> you know, at the time, I started wondering if you actually ordained to be a priest. Oh, come on, bro. You know, that's not possible. It's oh. impossible, man. <laughs> so, why did it take you so long to start mixing up with ladies? Discipline, I guess. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I got in touch with some of your classmates and I asked them. Some said that you are gay. Why some said that you are important? Oh, come on, bro. Come on, bro. You poor people know that is impossible. Uh, impossible. Uh, <laughs> I can't do that, man. <laughs> anyway, I'm so happy for you. So happy for you. Of course. Cheers. And I'm so glad you came. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Cheers, eh? One love. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So, um, what about you? I mean, what are your future plans? Uh, you started it already, so let me say after yours. <laughs> I, I'll get one, you, you know? Fix yourself, yeah? You know, no. <laughs> I couldn't get one over there when I went for my master's. So, I decided to come home. To look for one. Well, I say look for one. If the girls are by my side, let me see if I'll continue with the one. I groomed before I traveled. You groomed? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to that. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I'm so happy for you once again. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> my princess, given the fact that your brother has finally found whom to marry, don't you think... It is right for me to go back to my hometown. Why are you in a haste to leave? I don't know you to be a quitter, Rosie. Your brother is taken already. And there's nothing left for me in the palace. My brother is not taken until that lady passes the secret initiation test. Even if she does, Maswell is still there. Maswell, my brother, is more free and fun to be with than Ken, believe me. I made a fool of myself before Ken, and I won't make that same mistake with Maswell. I won't. Moreover, he looks like a Casanova. Oh no, my brother is not like that. My father trained us properly. Besides, he's not someone that uses and dumps his girls up and down. So, this time around, you're going to step up your game. If you were here, you need to level it up. It's fine. So, promise. I promise. I'm going to give you tips. Oh, well, let's okay. go. <laughs> okay. My daughter, Let's you see. are welcome to the palace of His Royal Majesty, King Onochie of Umuchu Kingdom. Thank you, Your Majesty. I am truly honored. So please, can you tell us a little about yourself? My name is Chine Luana Ndigwe, the only child of late Anna Ndigwe of Umweri in Umuji Kingdom. Your parents are late? Yes, Your Majesty. They died early this year. Ah, oh, so, so sorry about the loss of your parents. Hmm? Thank you, so, Your Majesty. Um, please tell me, are you a graduate? Yes, Your Majesty, I am a graduate. I studied chemical engineering in the University of Nigeria, Suka. Oh, oh, okay. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. Manatua 
akapa leze ku dene akapa leze ku dene ko mo chiri ozo ifi ken ge buru di kare wu di ki fe di da di kare o feke makana to lo ma lo ma la to lo fe ko fe isi no fia e bu baby ke go in if you don't want to go blind because no who is here Welcome the great Noku. Welcome the great Noku. Shinelu, may your light shine and chase away every darkness in Umushu kingdom. May it brighten the entire kingdom to the glory of the gods. May the gods prove to me that you are the virgin that truly deserves the prince. Are you sure she's going to pass the test and get initiated? Relax. Even the gods knows how important she is to you. She will pass the test. Huh? Come to think of it, how did you meet this lady? Because I know you're not into women. Uh, what do you mean, I'm not into women? Did I tell you I was into men? <laughs> well, I I met her in one of my charity outings. Oh, yeah. Okay. Come on, the light. Nuku, how did it go? The eagle is set to fly high, Your Majesty. 
My part is finished here. I only await the cry of the baby. <gasps> that means she passed the sanctity and initiation test. Yes. She is pure now and has been duly initiated. Let the gods be praised. Your Majesty, Elders of the Royal Council, last night, the bride that Prince Kennedy brought for initiation and purification passed the royal sacred test. With His Majesty's permission, I present to you, Miss Chinelo. My princess, please unveil her. Is this you? What's going on here? You two know each other? She, she's the love of my life. Huh? What? You're not serious. Where's she running? Chinelo! Chinelo! Hey, God. What is going on? Why I is she burning? I don't know. I thought she passed through the sanctity initiation. Yes, she did, according to Nufu. So why then is she running away? And why is Prince Maxwell chasing after her? Do I know? I don't know. Your Majesty. Oh no. The drama that happened some minutes ago is highly embarrassing. And you told us that uh, the maiden passed the sanctity initiation test. Now, what is happening? Huh? I just don't get it. Neoku confirmed to me that she is pure. That my son should go ahead and marry her. I'm, I'm as surprised as you are at what just happened. Your Majesty, hey. with all due respect, you have to issue an order and have that maiden brought to this palace for clarification. Because this kind of thing that just happened has never happened in this kingdom before. Ah. Besides, I even heard that she's not from our own mutual. So we really have to do something. We have to do something. This little maiden cannot come here and embarrass the, 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 the throne of our forefathers just like that. She must have to come here and explain to us what has happened. She must come and explain. Well, wherever she is, she must be brought back here to present herself before us. Kennedy, search for her, bring her back here to explain to us what happened today. Have I made myself clear? <sighs>
prevail. Match what? What was that display out there? What history do you have with my fiancé? I am sorry, Kennedy. Chinelo is my love. I groomed her for marriage before I traveled overseas for my master's degree. What nonsense are you talking about? Groomed? For what exactly? I didn't say that I was grooming. I said that I groomed her. That is to say, I made that woman she is today. My love, I want you to assure me that you're still the same virgin that I met years back. That you're still intact. No one has ever touched you. You know you have asked me this question more than 1,000 times since we started dating. And I want you to answer me 1,000 times that I've asked you the same question. Do you know why I always ask you this question? No. There is a tradition in my place and that tradition forbids me to touch a woman that I'm supposed to make my wife until she becomes mine. There is a, a ritual you're going to go through. And before you go through that ritual, she must be a virgin. This is why I haven't touched you for once. Wow. Well, I am still a virgin. And I promise you, I am willing to remain this way until you're ready to take me to your bed. I promise. <sighs> to be candid with you, I love you so much. And I'm ready to go physical. And I abusive and aggressive to anyone who crosses my path. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's what you're about to say, right? You don't need to worry. Mm? Don't worry about anything. Believe me when I say I am ready to stay this way to you whenever you're ready. And that's a promise. No man no man will ever see my nakedness. That I promise you. Thank you so much. No, you thank you. Thank you for bringing so much happiness into my life. Thank you for giving my life a meaning. I love you. And I love you too. <laughs> Let's um, let's go to the car. Let me give you money for upkeep. Okay. You worry too much. The one you give me still remains. No, I still need to give you more. Okay. Baby, I still have enough. And I insist. Okay. I decided to give you twenty thousand naira. So you use it and finish up your clearance and um, also pay for your development. That way, me and you can be on the same camp when we go for NYSC. Chi, Chi, my friend and my sister. <laughs> my God, will bless Leave me, you. drama queen. See her <laughs> face. <laughs> what is that? Chi, <laughs> my godmother. Eh, uh eh, -uh. grandmother. Chi, you don't know what you have done for me, oh. Hmm? Do you know how long I've been planning to get this money? Eh? Come on now, it's I nothing. I've done so many now. things to raise this money. It's nothing. I'm sure if you were in my shoes, you'd do the same thing. You know, but this. Let's stop. We are in this forever. You are who? <laughs> Me are you? <laughs> Thank no, no, you. No, I'm just tired. You can have mine. That Mr. This lecture was very, very stressful. 
Yeah. <sighs> I was even thinking on how to raise this money. But see you now. Hide My your, destiny here. Hide ever. your money before this will tell people we see. Mm -hmm. it. Ah, then, ah, no, no, don't even go there. Don't even go there. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're going to orientation camp tomorrow for your national youth service? Yes. But not tomorrow, though. Um, a day after tomorrow. Oh. Yes. I thought it's tomorrow. Nah. No. It is in two days' time. God, you want us to go ahead of time? Oh. <laughs> uh, not really. Not really. Um, honey? Mm. There is something I want to discuss with you. Okay. You know, it's about my master's degree that I told you about. The time is here. Oh, really? Yeah. So, I, when are you going? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow? I don't understand. You are you're traveling out of the country tomorrow. Yes, and I told you about it. No, you did not tell me it is tomorrow. You said you'll be going for your master's and you said sometime around this period, but you were not specific oh. about the date. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I thought I I told you. I'm sorry. Of course you'll not remember to tell me now because I'm not important. Honey, come on, stop saying that. Don't say that again. You mean everything to me. Trust me. Well, it's hard to believe I mean everything to you. For you to be telling me you're traveling tomorrow, today. Honey, I'm sorry. Trust me, I'm sorry. I, I thought I told you. I'm sorry. I wonder how you, you would forget something as important as that. My mistake. I'm sorry. Okay? Okay. Thank you. So, how long are you staying when you go? Um, so, uh, three years. Yeah, three years. Three years? Yes, honey. Just three years, I'll be back. But please, remember you made a promise to me. Never to leave me. Which is a promise I, I must keep. And I will keep it. Thank you. I will never leave you for any man. And I am ready to wait as long as you want me to, until you're ready. Thank you. But on my own conditions. Conditions? Mm-hmm. You have to make promises to me too. Okay, let me hear about them. Number one, you will not leave me for any other woman over there, whether white or black. All right, I promise you, I will never leave you for any woman in this life because you have a very special place here in my heart. Huh? I'm very serious. I don't want you to tell me it's because I wanted to get one paper with the other. I'm serious. Cross your heart. I cross my heart. Well, the second one is you will keep strong communication with me. As a matter of fact, you will have to talk to me every day. Hmm. Yes. You talk to me in the morning, in the afternoon, at night. As a matter of fact, two times in the morning. Mm hmm All right. Baby, you know you will stay long and I'll miss you. <sighs> so we'll have to be talking all the time. That's okay. I will miss you too. Trust me. I promise you I will call you two times in the morning, two times in the afternoon, two times at night, <laughs> two times middle of the night, okay? <laughs> Come here. Can I love you, right? I love you more. That's my baby. Love one thing, thing. Hey, I'm jealous. Yeah, go inside. Go inside. How can I go inside? Send me now, 
Mm. Oh, right. Let me sit down. Oh. oh so tomorrow you? now you leave me. I'll come to the house to see you first before. So I met Ginelo years back and uh, I trained her from first year until she graduated. She was able to pass the sanctity test because I never had kind of knowledge of her. I know the custom and tradition of our people. That's so why I groomed her for marriage, hoping to make her mine when I come back from overseas. Kennedy, I want you to erase everything you have towards Chinelo, please. That is never going to happen. You may have trained her in the university, but I saved her life. My blue blood runs in her veins. When she was dying, when no blood bank had her blood type, I saved her life. I gave her my blood. Kennedy, you were mentioning Hello, few weeks back. But I've known her for over seven years. Seven good years. And I've groomed her to be my wife. So please. What nonsense are you talking about, brother? What nonsense exactly? Now you tell me. If she had died on that same bed, when we be having this conversation right now, will you be telling me how many years you have dated her? Leave that girl alone for me. I love her with every breath in me. Canada would have so long to make Chinelo mine. And I cannot give up at this point in time. So I am asking you, Canada, to erase any feelings you have for Chinelo. Chinelo is mine. Mom. Dad! Um, that's okay. It's okay, son. Um, it's okay, I will talk to your brother. But for now, the situation is tricky. I advise both of you shield your sword for now. Please. Please. What, what, what I don't understand is why one girl will befriend two brothers? Eh? What was she thinking about? I didn't know he was royalty. I didn't know they were related. Talk more of being royalty. I mean, Jane, you were there. You were there at the orientation camp when, when I had to retrieve my number after I lost it. I waited. I waited for him to call cried my heart out and he did not he didn't call maxwell did not call me he didn't he didn't try to get in touch with me you know how you knew how heartbroken i was then only for me to finally find happiness from nowhere maxwell resurfaced what, 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 what do I do now? No, really, what do I do, Jane? Because I, I, I don't understand. What am I expected to do? This is quite unbelievable. <sighs> How could something like this happen? When you have finally found happiness. <sighs> Which is why I have always said that my fate is cursed. She don't say that. No, it is. Because how do you explain this? Just when I'm about to be happy. Just when 
I can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel and this just happened. Chi, you're not cursed. Okay? Oh, you are God. not cursed. You're one of the beautiful souls that I know. <sighs> you are blessed. You're not cursed. Oh, please. Please. I am blessed. Yes, you are. Jane, how is this a blessing? No, tell me. How is this, this whole thing a blessing? Because this does not look anything like blessings to me. She just have to put yourself together. I met Maxwell when, when I had lost all hope. He came into my life and brought so much happiness. He came with, he came with good tidings. And then he left. Ken came. When Ken came, Ken... Ken came when I needed my life being saved. When I needed being saved. And he saved me. He saved my life. He was my life saver. He is my life saver. Now, I am caught in between these two men. Jane, what do you think I should do? Jane, right. what do I do? Because I, Jesus. I don't know. I don't. I. I have no idea of of what. What exactly I should do hey. now? It's okay. God will fix everything, okay? Stop crying, please. Stop being too hard on yourself. You'll be fine. Jimmy, please stop. Oh, mother, mother, leave me alone. What is it? Maxwell, please, do you not go looking for that girl, okay? Your brother was the first to bring her to this palace. Leave her for him, please. Brother, do you realize what you're saying? That I should leave my woman for Kennedy? I have spent so much time and money for this very lady. Mama, there, 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 there is no way. I will leave her. Please, you can. And you will if you want to. You know he's your younger brother. So leaving her for him is not a big deal. Oh. For the more reason he should leave my girl for me. He's my younger one. Therefore, he should show me some kind of respect as his older brother. Maxwell, please. Don't do this. I am begging you. Please. Please, my son. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. But nothing you will say right now that can change my mind. I'm sorry. Maxwell. God. Maxwell. God. Love don't want fight. Love a German soul. But what can we do? What happened? Why couldn't you wait for me? Why did you move on? She left me shattered. Was it because I told you I was traveling abroad for my masters? Is that what you think? That I didn't wait for you? It might interest you that I started dating your brother weeks ago. Do you think I would have passed the sanity test if I wasn't a virgin? Besides, why am I even telling you all this? Because as long as I'm concerned, I don't owe you any explanation. Chinelo, I do not want to hear you say that you're dating my brother. That word irritates me. You are mine. You belong to me, Chinelo. 
You know I loved you so much. You loved me so much. You loved me so much, yet I stayed up all night. Nights upon nights waiting for you to call me back. You did not call, Maxwell. No communication, nothing. You know how many nights I stayed up calling you, waiting for your call to come through. Yet you did not call. And you called this love. But you changed your number immediately and left Nigeria. She lost her phone at the rotation camp. It took her two good weeks to buy new phone and retrieve her line. In that space of two weeks, you never called. Yes. <laughs> you already moved on, you know? I searched through all social media looking for you, Maxwell. I was on every social media platform searching for a way to reach you, but to no avail. Not knowing you had abandoned me, left me, didn't even care about the woman you said you loved. Is that how you love? Besides, you lied to me. You lied to me, Maxwell. So you have no right to stand here and accuse me of anything. Yes, my prince, you did. Why didn't you tell her that you're royalty? You hid it from her because she would go to the palace and look for you. My prince, it's not fair now. Haba, it's not fair. Chinelo, a lot happened. And I will explain everything to you. Please. Huh? I need you to... One thing you do for me is not to follow my brother. You are mine. Maxwell, son of King Onoche. Stay away from this woman. This is my woman. She's my wife. Stay very far away from her. Kennedy, she's my woman. And I'm telling you now that she is not yours. She is mine and I spent a lot to make her the woman that she is today. So stay clear. Maxwell, I didn't come here to exchange words with you. I came here to warn you to stay away from my woman. Else, else what? Else I will kill you right where you stand. You can't kill me because you do not have what it takes to bring me down. Is that what you think? I just said it to you. What? Hey, 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 honey. Honey. Ken, hey, honey. Enter the car! No. Listen, listen. Hey, Kennedy. 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 Young man. Listen. Kennedy. Kennedy. I said I will kill you. Kennedy, don't try this. Don't dare me. Kennedy. Motherfucker, don't Kennedy. 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 Just let me out of this car. Let me out of this car now. I want to take you back to the palace, away from Maxwell. And he is your past. I'm your present. And I'm not going anywhere with you. You have no right to tell me what to do. I want to get out from this car now. Tinelo, why are you doing this to me? Open the door, let me get down. You know how much I love you. Ken, open the door, let me get down from this car. it is on yourself. Calm down. Everything will be fine, okay? <sighs> yeah, everything will be fine. Don't take it too hard on yourself. You say everything will be fine. Yet Maxwell is about to steal 
the first woman I have ever loved. And you think everything is going to be fine. No. Nothing is going to be fine, Father. Well, I understand what you mean, but I promise I will talk to Maxwell and he will leave that maiden for you. You just don't get it, Father! Maxwell is with my fiancée right now. I'm just coming from her house. I saw them together. I begged her. I asked her to come back to the palace with me, but she refused. She refused all because of Maxwell. You mean Chinelo turned you down because of Maxwell? Gosh, that girl must have some dirty tricks up her sleeve. Well, that's okay. And um, uh, as you can see, we are family, and in a situation like this, we can always handle it as family. Someplace, like I said, take it easy on yourself. Everything will come under control, okay? I promise you that. You see why I told you it's not good to give up easily. Which is my person? Which is my person? The young lady that Prince Kennedy wanted to get married to happens to be Bill Smartwell's fiance. Holy Mary. Princess is a lie. Why would I lie to you? Jesus. But why would that lady do something like that? Why? Anyway, that is what we are here to figure out. But given the situation at the moment, Prince Maxwell is never going to back down for Prince Kennedy. In that case, the girls are with me. <laughs> My friend, tell me, what do you suggest I do? What do you suggest I do right now? You? Tell do. me. Tell me. You just tell me. Tell me. <laughs> from where you stopped. Good afternoon, Your Majesty. Is there anything good about this afternoon when you have infected it with your bad omen? Uh, your Majesty, I don't understand, ma. You don't understand? How could you chase two brothers and seduce them to the extent of both of them falling deeply in love with you? Your How? Your Majesty, your Majesty, I did no such thing. Your Majesty, woe unto me if I knew they were brothers. Maxwell, I'm sorry, Prince Maxwell did not tell me he was royalty when I met him. But can you finish this war you're about to start? Danny, then watch your back because I'll be coming. Chinelo, my daughter. You have heard everything I said. Please, consider it. My son Ken loves you so much, with everything in him. And you know he is a good man. Your Majesty, yes, he is a good man. But if he truly loves me like you said, then please tell him to give me some time. Time to sort myself out. Because the truth is, I love Prince Ken so much. But I also love Prince Maxwell. How, how can? How can you love Prince Ken and love Prince Maxwell at the same time? Are you sure you're all right? You were the one that told me that Maxwell abandoned you for three years. So how come you are even thinking about him or considering him as an option? Ch 
Chinelo. Your Majesty. You know that Ken cares so much for you. And that was why he willingly gave you his blood so that you can live. Your Majesty, like I said, please, I'll need some time. Time to sort myself out. You know, marriage is not something one has to make a decision in a haste or under duress. I have to be completely sure of what my heart says and follow my heart. So please tell him to give me some time. In no short period, I would get back to him. What are you doing here? I want us to talk. Talk here? But you know there is no way in this world that we talk to you here. I just want us to go somewhere quiet and... What is going on here? Kennedy! I hope you're not planning to take her away because she's not going anywhere with you. Maxwell, I hope you know a thousand of you cannot even stop me. Did I hear you well? Of course you did. Kennedy, try it! Move an inch, Kennedy! And who the hell do you think you are? Are you two going to stand here and disgrace yourself? Even in public? Can't you two respect yourself? I'm sorry about this, Janelle. All right? But I just want us to go somewhere quiet and talk. Then Jane is coming with us. If that's what you want, fine. Hey, hey, Jane, don't, don't, don't try that. Don't move an inch. Don't get into this car. Maxwell, you have no right to tell me what and what not to do. Exactly. Let's go, Ch Chinelo. Chinelo! You're just capping, bro. Just capping, man. Chinelo! Chinelo! Don't think you've won the battle. I swear I would deal with you. Well, I don't think. I know I won the battle already. Small boy. I will deal with you. I am promising you that. Honestly, I am promising you that. Don't make me do this. We're outside. Love don't want fight. Love to run one so more. But what can we do? The fight is all right now. It's brutal. The fighting is all. This to preach at war because of love, to preach in love with one girl, ready to fight. My dear, mm -hmm. of course, you know what I can do now, you should trust, uh-huh, yes, let's do it like that, that way is fine, mm-hmm, open this gate, uh, just hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, oh, give me, Eh? Not yeah? Important. What is the problem? Okay. Hey. 
Uh, uh -huh, my love. Yes, so my son Maxwell. Mm. I don't know. So as I was saying, Turkey will be fine. Just the three of us. Yes. You should trust me now. You know what I can do. Yes, my baby. Mm. Of course. Uh. Hey, just hold on, hold on. I will call you back. Maxwell! Maxwell, what do you think you're doing? Eh? I'm talking to you and you're walking out. Where are you going with that gun? Mother, stay out of this. Maxwell, take that gun back. What I said, stay out of this. Please. My son, my son, come back. Come and drop that gun. Don't open that gate. If move an inch, sit down there. Sit down! My prince, you've been staring at me for some time now. What is it? Chinelo, I want to end this war between my brother and I. <sighs> Marry me. Be my wife. Please, don't say no. Um, my prince. Please, accept my ring. She will never <laughs> ever marry you. Not when I'm still alive. Not when I'm still alive. Please, Master, please. Never! This is. It's not so. Sorry, yes. Get up. Huh? I said, get up! <laughs> Mama, please. Mama, please. Mama, Get into the car. Right now. Fast. To where? You have to follow me to my father. You have to tell him that I am the one you've chosen and not Kennedy. Get in. You can't coerce me into saying what I don't want to say. You can't force me. It's not by force. Sinelo! I do not want to be violent with you. Get into the car. I'm right not now. going anywhere. You can't force me to do what I don't want to do. My friend, get into the car. But this one will suit you more. This one will suit you more. Yes. Don't you think? I like it. I like the fabric. You? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but why is it that everything I like is what you like? Mm, because Can you just fine. choose something it's else? It's fine. Please choose something else. <laughs> My princess, no. no way. Okay, I choose this one. Let's go. Let's go. Leave me alone. Let's go. Master, leave me alone. Ah. Master, leave me. Let's go now. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah. You're my hand. Let's go. Leave me. You take it easy before you leave hurt me. me. If you do not shut your mouth up, I will personally shut it for you. 
Do you think I am in the mood for this, your lousy chatting? And who told you I want to chat with you? No, who told you I want to chat with you? I only said you should take it easy before you hurt me. Next time, don't threaten me because of her. Do you hear me? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Not going anywhere with you. Let's go. Not going anywhere with you. Stop it. You're hurting me. Stop. Let's go. Let's go. Move now. Move. Move it. Go, 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 go. I don't have your time now. I said go. We have to stay here. Let me sort our things. I'll be back. Okay? What about her? About who? I have told you, I do not have any woman in my life. You don't have any woman in your life, yet you abandoned me. Did you even sat down to think how I felt all those years waiting for you? Just a call from you. Just because you tried my number for a couple of days, it didn't go. And you didn't bother again, you just forgot me completely like that. And now you came out from nowhere to emotionally blackmail me. Make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Honey, come on. I did not abandon you. <laughs> I was out there working so hard to make more money. So I can better your life. And now I have made more money. And I am here to better your life. To make you my wife. The queen of my kingdom. I was out there working so hard so I can better the life of our born children. And here I am. See how easy it is for you to say it. So you feel you will just sugarcoat it and serve it to me and I take it like that. It's all okay. Did you know what you put me through? The heartbreak I had to go through. Maxwell, you broke my heart. I didn't have any closure because I didn't know why you did what you did. I wasn't sure if you were alive or you just abandoned me. And now you just want me to accept it that everything is fine. Maxwell, everything is not fine because you are a selfish man. You are so selfish that the only thing you think about is you. Just you. You don't think about anybody. Honey, I stopped calling you because... Because of what? No, finish it. Because of what? Because you have no reason. You have no excuse. Babe, I love you. I love you so much. I love you that I don't want to lose you to anyone. Not even to my brother Kennedy. I love you. Our brother with, with gun. What is happening? Stay out of this! Stay out! Maxwell! Honey, stop! It's not what it's for that girl. Stop! Are you mad? Maxwell! If you're a man, come outside and face me! Face me like a man! Maxwell! Where is she? I asked you a fucking question! Where is she? Kennedy. Do you think I am scared of this toy you have in your hand? Where is she? Bring her out now! Else I'm going to empty this bullet on you! Come on, small boy! Stop being naughty because you will never the entire life! Where is she? Kennedy, if you're man enough, why not pull the trigger? Oh, yes. 
I am in front of you one on one. Pull the trigger. Kennedy, I am challenging you. A woman that I wasted so much on. A woman I wasted so much money on her. I made that the woman you are lost in after. And you want to take her from me? Kennedy, you lie, Kennedy. You will never in your entire life Can you both stop it? Stop it before you kill yourselves already! I swear to God! I swear to God I eat you all! Why waste the bullet? You tell me! Why waste the bullet, Kennedy? I am here standing in front of you, man to man! And you just wasted the bullet. If you're man enough to challenge me, why not shoot me? If you have balls in between your legs, Kennedy, I challenge you. Pull the trigger. I am standing in front of you. Man to man, challenge me. Kennedy, you cannot do anything. I swear to God, you're lucky today. But the next time, I'm going to waste my bullets on you. I want to see my woman. Else, I will eat you raw. I swear to God, I'll eat you raw, bro. I swear to God, I'll eat you raw. Don't fuck with me! What a fuck, go able label. The battle line is drawn, Kennedy. The stage is set. We shall see. Maxwell and Kennedy. Both of you are not saying anything. I ask again. Why are you fighting each other? Your Majesty, whatever the reason may be, should it warrant both of them to carry guns on each other? Should it? You both are looking at each other like two cocks fighting over a hen. Huh? What is the problem between two of you? Father, I'm sorry I disobeyed you. But Maxwell here had the guts, had the temerity to attack me with a gun today. If I did not run for my life, Maxwell would have killed me or maimed me for life. And you expect me not to retaliate. Kennedy, you should thank your chin that Jane saved you. And listen, you might not be too lucky next time. Leave Chinelo alone for me, Kennedy. And I'm promising you here and now that if you dare get close to her, I swear I will kill you. Shut up! Shut up, Maxwell! What spirit has possessed you that you want to kill your brother just because of a woman? Father, tell him! Well, leave Chidelo alone for me. Tell him! Well, Father, you heard him. Maxwell said he's going to kill me. I said so. You Maxwell, you want to kill me? I'll make sure you regret those words. I promise you. I will make sure of that. Will you sit down there? Sit! What has come over you? What is wrong with you? Must you dance to the same madness that your brother is dancing? What in God's name do you want me to do, mom? No, you tell me. What do you want me to do? You wanted to fold my hands and watch Maxwell kill me over a girl I gave my blood to save her life. My friend, you're not going to have her. I swear my life. Do not have her. Enough. What will you do? I will not have her. Enough. You will not have her. Enough. I will not have her. Enough. I will not have her. Enough. You will not have her. I swear. I promise you. My princess. My princess, please, please let me out. I, I don't want to sleep here tonight. Please, please help me. Who are you? 
and I... What did my brother say in you that is making them fight each other? What spell did you cast on them? I, my, my, my princess, I, I did not cast any spell on anyone. I did not. The two of them might be fighting each other because of you. But if you don't use your power as a woman to stop this madness, you will have me to contend with. My brothers might be aggressive, but they are nothing compared to my rod. Don't pray I visit you because if I do, you won't like it. End this madness. Else, I will deal with you. Princess Olido does not joke. She does not give empty threats. Ask around. Papa, you are being too soft on that girl. Eh? Let's go to the palace of Umucho and tell them that, especially the queen, that that girl is a witch that killed her parents and defiled the cause of Ikenga. I'm not sitting here thinking of what to do. Let's act now. My daughter, it is not as easy as you think. It is not. Listen. And if you come close to me, I... Who is that? Help me! Help me! Keep quiet, my friend. Help me! Help me! What's Can you help me? Can you help me? My friend, go back. What's this problem? Eh? Get out of this room. My friend said, get out of this room. What's the problem? Right <laughs> now. We stay back. Hey. Wait. Your Majesty, are you saying that Prince Kennedy and Prince Maxwell have not resolved their issue about that girl, that maiden? Huh? Are they still conflicting over her? Oh no. I have done everything to see that the love that once existed between the two brothers returns. But it seems that they are drifting into the abyss of hatred. Stop that! Stop that madness! I said stop! Hey, both of you! Stop that madness! Maxwell! Stop that madness! What is wrong with you? Huh? Now, both of you! Go out there and nail under the sun. Yes, you heard me. Go out there, nail under the sun, and wait for me. And if any of you thinks he can disrespect me or disobey this order, I will invoke the powers of the gods of this land, and I will place a curse. And forever you will remain a vagabond. Go out there, nail there, and wait for me. Nonsense. Igwe, please calm down. Hey, you! Come back here. Uh -huh. You. Listen and listen good. I do not want to see you anywhere close to this palace. You've heard me. Because you have done enough damage to my sons, the entire family, and the royal family. Now leave this palace and never return again. Leave! Look at her! Little witch. Nonsense. My majesty. My princess, what I don't understand is what your brother saw in that girl that I don't have. Or that any other decent girl don't have. Why are your brothers fighting? Why are they fighting each other because of her? 
I don't want to know what they saw in her. But I've told her to put an end to this madness. Rosie, you know how my anger can be. You know how hurt my thought is. If I visit that witch with it, my brothers will no longer find her attractive. That means you will surely teach her a lesson. More than a lesson if she oh. does not take my words. I know what you can do. Let's so know that. Okay. Gee. Where did he take you to? Did he hurt you? No, he did not. Are you sure? Then why, where did he take you to? He took me to his room in the palace. Eh? Room? He didn't hurt me. He didn't touch me. He did not. He only wanted me to go to their father, the king, and tell him that I chose him over Ken. What? Which I said no. I declined. I refused. Because he can't force me to do what I don't want to do. Yes. He can't force me. I, I have to follow my heart. Oh, wow. I was just worried. I even wanted to go to the police. But I don't know where he took you to, so I had to stay back. You're sure you're fine? Mm. Nah. This one is tough. So what are you going to do now? Listen to me, both of you. I want to make this very simple. I mean, I am going to serve this and I will not repeat myself again. That girl called Chinelo, I don't want to see her any close to this palace again. As for both of you, you should desist from seeing her. I hope you help me. You two should stop. You want your mother and I to die before you stop? Your Majesty, tell them. I don't even know what that girl gave to my sons that made them want to kill themselves because of her. I just don't understand it. I mean every single word I've just said here today. And if any of you want to know what I, King Onoche, can do, try and bring that girl here. Then I will teach you a lesson you will not forget in a hurry. That won't happen, though. That's, That's not going to happen, Dad. It's not going to happen. Did I hear you both say that that won't happen? No problem. If you want to know what I can do, bring that girl back to this palace. Then I will show the both of you what the spirit does with fed off a stubborn hand. Tell your favorite son to leave my woman alone. I spent four years Four good years training her in the higher institution. I grooved her, waiting for the day she will get into this palace. Only for Kennedy to steal my woman behind me. Well, name your price, Maxwell, and I will pay you for everything you spent on her. Pay you in full. It she's to be a building project. Can you pay me with the interest? All right, fine. You can have her back, but bring her to me so I can take my blood. All of it. I don't blame you, you little boy. I blame my father for pampering you. And that is why you're behaving. Are you mad? How dare you talk to your father like that? Is something wrong with you? Have you lost your Must pay for it. 
Then be ready to meet your chief. If you want to dare me, because I'm going to kill you. Do you want to try me? I will show you that I'm more than Kennedy, I will mend you! This is my town. Kennedy. I am used to this ground than you are. And I will destroy you. I don't care to know, I'm Kennedy. I'm just a foreign goat. Oh. Keep your mouth shut. Try me. I don't care if you're my elder brother. I swear to God, I'm going to fuck you up. And I will tell you that I came into existence before you. But I don't care. I am more balanced, more grounded. Don't dare me, bro. Yes, who is there? It's me. It's you who? Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What are you looking for? I have a very important information, a very important one. Uh, the girl causing problem between the two princes. She's not whom she, you, you could think she is. Who? Hmm? Are you serious? Yes. <coughs> um, I'm not the person you should be telling this to. Yeah. Just wait. Let me rush in and check if the king or the queen is inside. Okay, okay. Don't okay. go anywhere. Oh, no problem. Just wait here. Greetings, my princess. What do you want? My princess, there's a lady outside the gate. She says she has a very important information about the meeting that is causing trouble between uh, Prince Ken and Prince Maswell. And why is this done here? Go get her immediately. Go! Princess is waiting for you down there. Just move straight. Take your left. You see that's it. Straight. Yes. Yes. Go straight. Your left. You mean she's a witch and responsible for the death of her parents? My princess, I cannot leave my father's house and come back. Yeah, I'm lying to you now. You can ask anybody no more, Jill. Even a child born today knows the truth. Because she was ostracized and somehow she managed to use her powers to be with your brothers. Yes. Haven't you noticed that your brothers have been behaving abnormal since she met them? Haven't you noticed? Thank you very much for this information. You are welcome, my princess. Can you take me to her house if I ask you to? Of course, of course, of course. If you want us to go now, we can go. What do you think, Jungu Meme? Hey, let's start going. Oh. Ibe! 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 I don't know what my father. <laughs> Gats, go in there and drag that witch out. Now! <sighs> go in! What is it? Zero. What, what is it? Come on. What is going on? What? What? Come on, come on. What is. My princess. Yeah. My princess, what are you doing here? What, what is it? On your news. Huh? New. New down. now! Did I not warn you to end whatever it is you have with my brothers? The next I will visit you, you won't like what I will do to you. I did warn you, right? Now, break that spell you casted on my brothers. I mean now. My, my, my princess, I am not a witch. I, I did not cast any spell on anybody. I don't even know what uh, or how to cast it. Are spell. you not? Have you gone not? I am not here for your lousy explanation. I said you should break the spell now. She not do anything, my princess. my princess. This girl is a very strong witch. Yes, and she's stubborn. You understand? So I think you should apply some violence because this girl killed her parents 
and the foul the cause of Ikenga. Mm. So I think only violence will make her succumb to what I say. Hey Goldie. Hey Goldie, what did I ever do to you? Why this sudden hatred? Did I do something wrong? You were my best sister and we were too close, very close. Why this sudden hatred? All of a sudden I went to the university and came back and you and you you hate me so much. Okay, I'm set up. Uchi on a cigar. So let me tell you something. You stopped being my best sister and my friend the very day you gave your soul to the witch cover. Mm, so don't don't even mention my name. You know what? I think this is a very stubborn witch. She will not give in easily. Guards, flog her. Princess, lie down. Tie her up and give her my princess, glasses. My princess, lie down. My princess, lie down. My princess, she's very stubborn. Are you waiting for her? I said you should flog her, flog her. Or do you want me to use it on you? This is wickedness now. What is wrong with these people? I think it's the prince. Sorry, eh? Sorry. Sorry. My God. I wish I was there. Good afternoon, my prince. My prince, good afternoon. Good afternoon. What happened to her? Have you and your family not done enough to her? My prince, please, I beg of you. She has suffered enough already. Let her be. Please. Come on, Jane. If you know that I love her so much, I cannot stoop so low to inflict her with this kind of pain. Hey, I guess Kennedy should be the one who did this to her. Kennedy. No, no, it, it is not Kennedy. Don't go fighting him because of the conflict both of you have. That, that, that's the result of this now. Please, just let her be. I beg of you, let her be. She, she has suffered enough now, please. If it's not Kennedy, then it must be all Ledo. Because I know my mother cannot stoop so low to inflict this kind of pains on her. It must be all Ledo. Hey, I'm coming. My prince, please. My prince. My prince. Chi, Chi, let, let him go. You don't want trouble. Ah, have they not cost enough to you? I'm sorry. Our God will fight them. You see our God? Our God in heaven will surely fight them. Ah, ah. People are wicked though. She was so lucky. They were lucky I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> that girl got what she deserved. The next time to try this rubbish, I will kill her myself. You know me I now. Know you can't I trust you. <laughs> oh my God. Orlando! 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 How dare you? How dare you do such a despicable thing? This is not this is a real girl. Next time you try such thing, I will personally kill you myself. Master, did you just slap me because of that girl? Oh yes, I did. How dare you inflict such pain on Chinelo? Why? Enough. If you try next time, I will personally kill you in this house and nothing, nothing will happen. Maxwell, what did you just do? Did you hit your sister because of that witch who has you and your brother under her spell? Did you? Mother, tell your daughter Oledo to stay clear from my woman. Next time she try it, I swear, I will personally kill you. You will not do anything, Maxwell. Yes, you cannot do anything. You're not just two people, you've lost your senses. Because that girl is in charm on you both. Hey! Maxwell, Lord, give me. What is it? Maxwell, Lord, give me. Are you not kidding me? Maxwell, you slapped me again because of that girl. Oh, yes, and I will slap you again. Maxwell, you slapped me again because of that girl. Maxwell, you slapped me again because of that girl. Maxwell, you slapped me again because of that girl. Maxwell, you slapped me again because of that girl. Maxwell, you slapped me again because of that girl. Maxwell, you slapped me again because of that girl. Maxwell, you slapped me again because of that girl. Maxwell, you slapped me again because of that girl. Maxwell, you slapped me again because of that girl. Maxwell, you slapped me again because of that girl. Maxwell, you slapped me again because of that girl. Maxwell, you slapped me again because of that girl. Maxwell, you slapped me again because of that girl. Maxwell, you slapped me again because of that girl. Maxwell, you slapped me again because of that girl. Maxwell, you slapped me again because of that girl. Maxwell, you slapped me again because of that girl. Maxwell, Respect 
princess, if there's anything she needs now, it is rest. And when she wakes up, give her something to eat. Then give her the drugs. Okay, doctor. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, I have to be on my way now. If there's anything, call me. Once again, thank you for coming. Thank you. Dad, are you sure mom is going to survive this? Are you sure she's going to come out of this? Kennedy, why are you being so negative? Relax, she will come out of this. I don't want anything to happen to my mother. I don't want anything to happen to her. It's okay, Kennedy. She will be fine. Okay? She will be fine. She's stable now, but she needs rest more than any other thing. And I have also instructed Mrs. Oledu on what to do when she wakes up. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. I have to be on my way now. Uh, doctor, thank you very much. Um, let me re-emphasize on this. She needs lots of rest now. Please, let nobody disturb her. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Doctor. I've heard the cause of the bloodbed, and it is real. Would you let her be? I know that girl might have placed a curse on her majesty and she should be dealt with. Princess Oli, do I know you. You were the poisonous venom that eats up the cobra. You were the fear that turns death. You don't need to allow that black witch to leave. You need to do everything within your powers to stop that black witch. Are you with me? My princess, you're not saying anything. That is it. I can feel the poisonous venom. I know you would never let that black witch deal with the majesty and go scot-free. I just know it. You should have just left me to die that day. Than this stigma knowing you has cost me. Because ever since I stepped my foot into the palace, it's been from one trouble to another. Assassination attempt on people I care about and now I am branded a witch in a, in a town I'm not even from. This is too much. Chinelo, this has not answered my question. Did you curse my mother for what Olido did to you? Prince Ken, since I now have the power to curse people, why haven't I cursed you and Maxwell for all the problems you've put me through? Your Highness, I am the victim here. All right, so. Uh, Prince Ken, what are you doing here? I knew you were going to come. And I want you to know that this girl here is innocent. There is no way she's responsible for what mother 
is going through right now. Why are you defending her? Don't you know she killed her own, her own biological parents? I heard all of that. Oh yes, I did. And I put it to you that she is innocent. If she possessed such powers as rumored, why there would she let herself to be tortured and humiliated? She's a witch. They are very deceptive. Only the mother did not whip her. Mother did not send people to whip her. You did. If she had those powers, as you say, why didn't she attack the people who whipped her? Why didn't she attack you? Only though you need to understand that she is the victim here. All right? I will go. Or should anything happen to my mother, I will kill her, then kill anybody close to her. This is not a threat. This is a promise. Thank you for defending me. I want you to know that I will always protect you. I will never allow anything to happen to you. All right? She wants me to kill you before you leave Chinelo for me, right? I am talking to you and you're trying to walk out on me. Stop that madness, both of you. Stop it now. What nonsense. Maswell. Maswell, I call you. Are you sure you have not gone out? Eh? You still fight your brother, even as your mother lies critically ill up there. Father, if you are not partial, if you are not sentimental with your judgment, Father, I tell you, this wouldn't have been happening. But what did you do? Father, you took side with him. Do you know how much I spent, Father? I invested so much on that girl and I met her who she is. Do you know how much I invested on her? You want me to leave her for Kennedy? Yes, you trained her. And he saved her life. Have you not heard about the dead? They have no knowledge of anything and cannot love. Father, I will never in my entire life leave Chinelo for him. Never. I have to let you know that I love Chinelo so much. I would rather die than to allow him to have Chinelo. Watch your mouth, son. Watch your mouth. to know what I can do? No, my prince. You're leaving this palace today. Get out. Move! My prince! My Get prince. out! My Get prince! Out. My prince! My prince! Ichi, I ask again. Is this the will of our people that we now allow strangers visit and take care of someone we ostracized? Uh, listen. You see, mm. I suggest we go to King Onoche. Yes! We go to him and warn him to keep his children and his subjects out of her land. That's not good. Exactly what I have been saying. We need to stop them. If King of Umuchu doesn't say anything tangible, then we will tell our youth to stop them. Of course. You have a point there. I will go and inform Ichi David so that he can join us. Chinelo is supposed to be suffering and not having royalties visiting her at way. Uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Listen. Yes. 
even if David mm. says he has no chance, mm. because I know him very well, yes. he might always want to chicken out. Mm. If he says he cannot go, mm. you and I can go together. You are the oldest man in our clan, and I am a titled man. All we need is a letter from our king. That's all. We go and see that uh, king of uh, Umuju. Ah. Let me ask you one question. Do you think that our king will give us a letter? What are you talking about? Okay. Let me clarify you more. Their community and our own community uh -huh. have a peace pack that have lasted for 79 years now. So do you think he will give us such a letter? So what are you talking about, Tiche? No, tell me what you're talking about. That we should keep quiet, fold our hands between our legs, and watch strangers invade our land and desecrate our tradition. Trample on us. It's not possible. No, I'm not saying that. What uh -huh. I'm saying is this. We will go, but we will not involve our king. How do you do that? She, she waits. Are you sure this is the right thing to do? I mean, coming to a place that they hate you so much. Which was why I wanted to come in here. I don't want to be the reason anybody will insult or injure you today. Can you stop? Please. Can you just stop? Have I not followed you enough for you to know that I will never leave you? I will always stand by you. I know. I know and I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. But you need to go. This is my body. I need to carry this cross alone. Honestly, this whole thing sounds strange to me. Completely unbelievable. Uh, you see, it might sound strange and unbelievable to you. Uh, but that is the truth. The very reality of our situation. You see, that girl is a high witch. Look at this. She killed her father. My own brother, she killed her mother and then went ahead to defy our oracle, the very cause of our oracle. She defied it. Now tell me, where does such powers come from? Such dark, evil powers, where do they come from? Uh, Igwe, let me say this for the records. If you let that girl into your house, your kingdom, anywhere near your kingdom. Honestly, your household and the entire kingdom shall be put in jeopardy. Great jeopardy. Um, it's okay. Um, I've heard all that you said, and um, I give you my word. Igwe, we thank you for giving us your words. The alliance between your kingdom and ours will forever remain sane and will even grow for better. It is in the thought of our forefathers that we live in peace. And that I promise to, to make possible because I will do my very best to see it happen. I will ban my family from having anything to do with that outcast. <laughs> Igwe, thank it you very much. It was a wonderful celebration. Yes. <laughs> Igwe, what you have done shall go down in history as the. What are you doing here? Huh? How about I want you not to come anywhere close to the palace again? Goose! <laughs> Matina! Matina! What are you what? talking about? Goose! Igwe! Matina! Hey, Your Majesty, please permit me to see the Queen. It is very important that I see her. Never. That will not happen. Matthew, confess. Confess the evil you did to my family. Else, I will wipe out your entire family. Hey, guards! Hey, 
bundle this ah. witch to the palace cell. Hey! Hey! You. Hey! 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 Confess! I will confess! I I I kid on you, I kid on you. I kid on you, I his wife. Don't forget me, I'm confessing. Please, please. I kid on you, I his wife. Anna, yes. It's not you. Yes, we killed them, we killed them. We killed Uncle Anna and his wife. We, my daughter and myself, we killed Anna and his wife. And and we flamed, we flamed Chinelo because she's the cause of it all. Hi. Don't worry, Papa is dressing up to go and get Keke that will take you to the hospital. Oh? <laughs> we'll be fine. Hospital. Oh, hospital. Where do you get the money for hospital? Tell your father to forget about hospital. Mama, Mama, forget about money. Let's save your life first, okay? Before we can talk about money. Oh? Don't worry, you'll be fine. Papa? Forget about hospital. Go and get me help. Now, okay. I've had you, eh? Let me get the herbs. Eh? Last, I will get you the herbs. Eh? No problem. Eh? Yes. Please be first to. My brother, the doctor said she has a hepatitis B. Hepatitis B, and it has eaten deep into her system. Uh, and there, there is this other one he mentioned. Fibroid. Fibroid. Which has to be removed. Yeah? The doctor insists also that I, I, I must pay a deposit of 120,000. 120,000. Where, where, where do I find that kind of money? Yeah? So my wife's life is at stake. In fact, I'm on the verge of losing her. Please help me. However, in, 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 whatever you can raise for me, please, please, my brother, let us save her life. Yeah? If, I, if I lose her now, what, what, what will I tell my G? Yeah? Oh, brother, my G, you see, I really appreciate what you're passing through. We are in this together. Hmm. Your pain is my pain. After all, she's my wife. But the fact remains that I don't have any money on in existence. We don't have any money in this house. Where do we get such huge amounts of money? Okay, borrow, borrow, lend me. Yeah, from anywhere, please. You and I know the present situation of this country. Nobody will accept that he has that kind of money. The economy is so bad. That everybody is suffering. They're all feeling the pains. What do we do? I don't have the money. Neither do I have any friend that I will run to to get such amount of money. What do we do? Hey. No, please, please. You are my last. See, you are my last resort, my last hope. Eh? Who do I run to? Who? Hey. If you may, my dear. Um, do you have any money? Oh, my husband. I don't have any money with me. I don't have. The only money I have right now is the money we are saving for our daughter's admission. That is the only thing I have. Oh, well, I'm very good. No, uh, even if it is from there, eh, you can give me just give, give, give me part of it. Let me I, let us save my life, my, my wife's life. Eh? If, if she dies now, what do we get? Where, where, where do I start from? Brother Matthew, uh, see. This is the fourth time my daughter has gained admission. It's open. But she has not been able to facilitate it because of lack of money. Mm. So this time around, we vow to make sure yes, that so. she, she make use of this admission. As a matter of fact, 
In the course of saving up this money, we've had so many pressing needs. But we refuse to touch this money. So that's just the position of things. I said, that one you said for Chile, those. Uh, please, just give me a little. Say, it is life. Yeah. If this woman dies. Uh, Brother Machi, uh, uh, just give, give me some time. Give me some time to think. Please. Just give us time to think. Yeah? She will not die. My husband, why are you sounding this way? Chinelo here has managed to get this admission more than four times. And she couldn't go because of money. Now that we have this money, and you want to deny her this opportunity. I don't like it. Are you, are you a I understand what you're trying to say. But I only want you to see things from my perspective. What would people say? How would my brother feel? It is life we are talking about here. If EHG should die in this condition, you and I will not forgive ourselves. So think about this. Papa, since the money they are looking for is 120,000 naira, and then we have 150,000, I think we should support them with the sum of 50,000 naira. And then give me the 100,000, I can go to school and start my registration and start processing my registration with time i believe the school will give me time to finish it up later but at least let's save a life first do you think you, you can manage the hundred thousand and do you think the school will give you time mm -hmm. well, i've overheard some of my friends who got admission before say they they give them a little time to process their registration. I, I believe they will do the same for me. But at least for saving a life. No matter what happens, let's save the life first. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I, uh, as a matter of fact, I, I must appreciate the both of you for standing by me in this trying time. It's okay. I appreciate it's well. it. Thank you very much. Come here. It's my daughter. <laughs> like daughter, like father. Baba, I'm so excited. At least this time around, I'll get to go to school. Yeah, so I'm so <laughs> happy. I'm happy. Thank too. you very much. <laughs> if you're happy, you should be smiling. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. uh, Anna, you, you said you wanted to discuss something with me. Uh, yes, Bromachu. You see, um, our people said that the journey to the stream does not start when the pot is filled, okay. but when it's empty. Considering our last discussion, um, when you came to the house and told us what's happening, I promised to get back to you. Uh, you see, my wife and I have been saving up money for Chinelo's school fees. So, but considering what's on ground now, we now decided to bring some part of the money that we've been saving up as our own support for your wife's ill health. So we now decided to give you this as our support. How much is there? It's 50,000 naira. 50,000? Yes, bro. Thank you. Uh, it's for free, you're not to pay back. Thank you. Um, uh, 
Ai. Undo. Ai. Oh. Hey. Yes. We pay the, the 50,000. Yet, the doctor refused to visit my wife. Who, that was how my wife died. I lost her. And I okayed my wife. And I okayed my wife. That is why I hate, I hate them so much. I... Yes, yes. We went to we went to Ikenga's shrine and gave gave him money to kill Uncle Anayo and his wife. Biko, Biko, huh? please, oh. please. I want my brother Anayo and his wife to die on the very day their daughter will return from her youth service. I want you to make it look like she, Chinelo, is responsible for their death. Let their celebration turn to blood and let their joy wither. As for their daughter Chinelo, mm. let her roam the entire Umoji mad for the rest of her life. That is my request. <laughs> because we grant your request, but the girl Chinelo has a very strong spirit, but I will take care of her. Though it is going to cost you a lot of money, it is going to cost you a hundred and fifty thousand naira. Let's say more, do it. Yes, do it. I, a goody, I'm going to do anything possible to get the money. <laughs> eh. So, that was how we, we plotted and killed them. We killed them. But you, Chinelo, your spirit is too strong. So resistant to everything that was thrown at you. Even the curse of, of Ikenga. You, 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 you could, could not hook you. Mm. I, I, I was the one that made the queen sick. Mm. So that she can hit Chinelo the more. You did what? Huh? But, but somehow she, she also escaped it. I will deal with you! Your head to the evil forest. <laughs> Gods! Gods! Throw these fools out of my compound. Your Majesty, I must say that the royal house played a huge role in making me who I am today. Then I am being ungrateful. But I have come to say thank you. I have come to say thank you and also farewell to the most important people God used in making me who I am. The two beautiful souls that God used to change my life. Thank you for everything you did for me. Thank you for the kindness you showed me. 
farewell because today would be my last day of coming into this place. For I would really love to obey the king's command and move on with my life. Thank you for everything you did for me. Thank you. It's okay. I beg to take wait, my leave. Wait, wait. Please sit. Please. <sighs> you know, your coming here today was for me. Because this healing I got, if not for you, I don't know what would have happened. So I thank the gods that they used you to give me healing. And I will want you to stay because I know you have found favor in the sight of God. You are the chosen one. So please, choose between my two sons who you will marry. And I will stand by you. Please. Father, mother, there is no need for her to choose. Obviously, Gina is not meant for me. Therefore, I, I am leaving her for my younger brother, Prince Kennedy. You should go ahead and marry her. As for me, I will go for someone I believe that the gods has provided for me. Jane. Hmm? You are a good girl. You stood by your friend in difficult times. I want you to marry me. It's okay. It's okay. He's a good man. I can't. Look at me. Do you like him? Say yes. Say yes. Yes, I will marry you. <laughs> say thank you very much for doing this. Thank you very much for letting me have the one woman that means the world to me. Ah, Chinelo. Forgive me. Forgive my brother and I for everything we put you through. And I also want to. And yes, I will marry you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my baby. baby, 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 baby. Congratulations. <laughs> 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 I'm <laughs> <laughs>